Waiting with conviction to come through with a certain style to go back. I don't think that's going to be a good sign. But one thing's for sure, K Serato was also right. You know, form being off was something that was unexpe unexpected with the recent games that Furia played well in. And Yuri having a career low performance, that's not something you expect to happen again. That alone can take the edge off the game plan. Luckily for us, we don't really get this head-to-head -head all too often, although we did get it three times in 2022 at three significant events, Katowice, Antwerp, and Dallas. Two of those three goes the way of Furia. So we know the old style can work and that it can defeat G2. The question is, which Furia do we get? Well, right now we get the Furia locking down B. Arts Beretta's drop behind him. Very good start to this one for the CT side, but they've got Monacy to deal with. And the Coffin Peak is coming in. What a tap <laughs> to drop. Is it just me? Does that look like Monacy simply just like brushed a bug off his shoulder? I know. You know, he's watching the CT cross. Damn, that's why bookmakers say this is very favored um, in G2's direction. Not surprised to see these things. Art from the corner. Gets out of danger and drops a nade on them. That makes his job way easier. And he did his job yesterday in the questionable form coming out of safe lock. JKS only has an MP9 with no Kevlar. The CTs will come through the, the, the retake. That's what's meant to unfold. Nade, perfect. Deal with Monacy first, get his deagle out of it. Nico's dead, but it's just this MP9 in the corner. Remember, 10 seconds stick. They've got to charge him down as he sits on top of bomb and Oh no my way. god, are you serious? Guys. No kit, no time. Precisas de novas skins? Regista tem CSGO Fest e faz os teus teammates invejosos. Dá boost na tua inventoria em alguns cliques. Coloca o promo code e obtém bônus. Link na descrição do vídeo. Go, go, go. Nice shot. Flawless start so far for safe, despite all the rounds to G2. A little bit of aggression coming out of a CT side. And Hooksy decides to crank the tempo on his own. Nico, critical kill to get that bomb into the pack. But Art has slipped beyond the crosshair. And Nico could get caught off by this or not. <laughs> he was just making sure no one would come help. Yeah. Waiting, waiting, isolating Art and getting exactly what he wanted. This was a three versus five out of G2 before they started to reclaim kills on A. And now they're just going to go ahead and close out what's left. Three versus five in a critical Crazy gun as well. If all of a sudden, Yuri and Kesarado just seem mediocre in this style. But, I mean, Yuri not even ready for them. Sprinting up middle. Not trying to mask that aggression. Not trying to hide that sound. Yuri didn't even have his head turned. So, 5v4, a lickety split. G2 deciding, well, if it's up to them, They'll kick up the tempo. Nico hones in on the pit player. Got to be cautious as Art sits inside sight, but we also have Modesty wrapping around, and when the Motto smoke goes down, Modesty is going to get this. Tons of pressure on the pit player now, and they are just fixated in on him. Double nade put Caserato on sub-10 health before he even had a chance to shoot back. Dude. Could that A hit have gone any easier? Uh, yeah, and I will say as well, G2, obviously, if you're a fan of G2 right now, they're obviously playing very well. He can think about how he, he could have won this major at certain points here. Good flash. Good aggression. Yes! Nice, Furia. A little life, a fight. That's at least all we need here. An element of entertainment with a 5v3 setup. The flashbang looked great. The op posting on the angle before Monacy can re-peak it. This is what Furia needed, not just for the sake of the competitiveness of this game, but just for themselves. A clean, flawless round queued up. And it comes by way of perfectly timed banana re-aggression. Yeah. Hooksy back turns, but the flash! Oh, it almost saves him. Hunter's dropped as he tries to give chase. JKS will catch Yuri, finishing off the damage that was done. Case Serato towards lane, sees both T's, falls back, hands busy, and a teammate that's smoked off, but Hooksy still gets smashed by the off. And then Nico catches the flank down banana. This could serve as the trigger to go back, and we've already got Art tucked in the close corner. Nico can't let his guard down, sees it, and Art wins the fight. So he seizes it. The man advantage to Furia. And JKS jumping up over the railing. Looks like he got that unspotted.
Somehow. Still looking for the duel here. Safe's gonna have to turn around fast oh. with the T in the open. Now he's all of a sudden forced away from his angle. Doesn't like that duel. Yeah, he's gotta let There's that one question of the second CT. Spotted, missed. And now JKS forced into the clutch. And Safe knows that the pressure could come in his direction. So they'll give some time to set it up. Art getting ever closer to the doorway. Safe now re-aggressing through the crosshairs. Placed instant headshot. JKS back down to the cover. Plays the time. Awaits the push. Art has to come at him. And with that nade, oh, it's close. A single shot will do the trick. And Art tries to close that gap up in sight. JKS around the pillar dances. Wow. And does he dance long enough? Art on top of the bomb, it comes down to the wire, but Furia take their third. Ooh, in terms of movement, man, JKS did everything Me so too. perfect. Even though they're losing by five rounds. Yeah, it's because the B site is losing with two players at once, and then they're forcing saves. So let's see if... Oh! Art, Oof. you know, kept his head hanging out the window. Drove by the stop sign. Figure that one out. Modesty finds an open B site because of that total A stack in response here from Furia. And again, well, it's really simple what G2 are doing these days. They don't, there's not, no one can really stop them once they take banana control. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Whew. I think Safe was allowed to take that peak. Well, not, on, not in JKS's eyes. Yeah. But yeah, they, they wait here, top banana. They've got one of the strongest B hits possible. Just making sure nothing funny is happening. And they've got so much time on the clock. They don't need the full 50 seconds to hit into B. JKS ensuring they can actually kill everybody in the exits on top of this. And the first tier exec comes through. Now there are no smokes left over. So G2 do have to walk in. But pressing into one another. Dropping hooks, you making contact. More teammates for the tease to make sure this one goes down smooth. Construction preoccupied by Yuri. Yeah, that was a tricky tempo. Man, Fury were probably wondering, is this coming back right? to A for a yeah, second? Yeah, right. They let that smoke come up, but they didn't see anyone in the back of the site. I think it just speaks volumes to G2's comfort at the moment. Yeah. Trust in the pacing and the teammates. Oh, it's been a tidal wave of T rounds here. All different styles of B attacks, basically, from G2 that have worked out splendidly and speak to their very dominant T-side map statistics over the long run. Unfortunately, Furia don't get that flying start today, even though they could have forecasted Inferno to be the first map picked. We'll have to survive here with the op. Maximum potential of five rounds in this half. It's hanging on for dear life as G2 take 10. Hunter. Oh, okay. Nope. He hangs on. K Serato keeps the op up. Third player on Furia to take. Hunter sitting up inside of the apartments, though, has a good piece of map control alongside JKS. So we'll see the retake commence. K Serato keeping Monacy out of the pistol. Bodes well here for Furia. Drop. It's a one and done. Hunter brings it back. But they've also killed Nico towards Banana. So it's Hooksy and Hunter to try and get into A before that third T comes through. Oh, they're letting him go. Hunter drops. And he's denied by Yuri, who's then just going to keep his head down. Hooksy uses the smoke to block off the pit. He's sectioning off these duels well enough. And then he actually goes back. Oh, he kills K Serato. He doesn't have a kit, but he taps the bomb, which means Yuri, you'd think, has to peek. And now hooksy has got him pinned. Oh. Hooksy with a glorious attempt in the pistol clutch, but instead it's Fury. That has to be respected. So, I mean, if Fury do this right, they've got the perfect crunch. Boils down to Hunter and JKS, putting up doubles. Staving off the split, which is soon to come through Moto. JKS stomped out inside of the little pit. And Drop uses that moment as a distraction to quell Hunter. Seven seconds, and the bomb will get its plant in. Eighth round for Furia. A nice little squeeze onto the A site. Calculated? Are you impressed? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm, I was a little bit surprised to see Monacy go even farther in... In between all the fire, they get away, I. Right? Oh, Nico double senses it and takes safe down by 80 as well. There we go. Chance to shine. Putting his name right there alongside Hunters. D2. 
That one rifle just kicks it all off. And Drop looks to bring it back. Hooksy's A1S gets stuffed by Safe, who now wants to take it over towards the balcony. Hunter gets the pistol close. Him and JKS looking to tether nicely. And the pressure is applied. The kill is found. And another one up in the corner. Hunter waits. Safe jumps through with Bomb. And that just throws this down into the dirt. Yuri needs to recover. And Nico waits no time. Hunter connects with the CZ. Majority piss. But he's still just comfortable at all, all times, trying to take as much information as he can. Mm. His shot. Hunter picks up the slack. Two backs turn to him. Simple double, but yikes. Stuck between all the fire. Doesn't matter. Hooksy saves him. Things are starting to look sketchy for Hunter. Oof. Then all of a sudden, Yuri tries to pop out from the apartments, almost finding a chance to strike down one. And while we were sat here waiting for Nico versus Quesarado, the rest of Fury is dead. Yeah, so the mid-pop fails completely. Even though the shot gets missed from Monacy, who's not really feeling it at the moment. Uh, well, they've got Hunter. But in the interim, Monacy, he's been so good on Boiler's side in these past couple of rounds. Three peaks coming in again, but he gets flashed off his position. Ooh, something different. Yeah, but the fast move here from the CT rotation gets into an interesting spot for Nico. He could get a ton out of this. I oh, love this. They're coming right at him. Quick little snap. No double kill, but still enough to stun Furia in the CT spawn. Yuri's working with subpar HP. Monacy's going to get it. Nice quick scope. But I think now he knows since he just walked Arch, didn't see anybody. They're not continuing forward with the split. However, there's someone inside of Halls. There's no attention being drawn, though. Art needs to make something happen. And he'll start to shoot. So this will drag Monacy back. Eyes now on Hooksy. Yeah. Hooksy peeks it to Banana, confirms that one's moving up, saw the bomb with it. AWP out of Monacy is very quickly coming to help him out. And then there's a flank on flank in middle. So as soon as that underground player pops up, it's mm. done. G2 win their 15th, seven map point. Zero panic, all success. Nico decides he's going for it. <laughs> Case Serato's MAC-10 kills him. Hunter's got the trade frag though. Blood meets blood. And a smoke in front of Drop. He's the third. Hunter has gone above and beyond. A total 180 from the best of one versus Vitality. A 3-0 legend stage team now that we see them finish off that run today. So really, it's just the recovery from the B&E loss because barring that, this team on screen is not losing maps. And they begin. Mirage will be their best chance to show their best face, put their best foot forward and give this a real try. And they'll start right here on T-side. This isn't a map that G2 play anymore, but of course in history I've played plenty. Hunter, nothing. Art, double kill. When they struggled to kick it all off on that ancient game yesterday, well, Art did have an uptick on individual level. Let's see what he can do here. Charging through to connector, Art picks up a third. Just a one-man army. For G2 to now have to come back, it's a 2v5 retake. They find the first one for free while the smokes were still up. That wall of cover letting them section it off, but Nico gets gushed, poor guy. And the Glock finds its target. There we go, Furia, another T throw round. himself into it. The CTs are in the right position and time is not on Furia's side. Hunter able to get the blind side. Monacy with the scout shot. They kill Hooksy point blank. We've got eight seconds. More dings come out. The scout takes its target and they have fumbled it again. Oh, not like this, man. Not like this. There's one moment here. Just one thing. Such a beast rifler. And even though he's a more emergent storyline than someone like Nico, you know, he's on par in recent times. You really want to see success for a player like that. And for a team, for the most part, who have stuck together, you know, their core. Yes. It's been a, it's been a long journey. Mm -hmm. And a stubborn long journey. Yeah, sure. The style a and never changing. And now was finally when, when you know, they decide to bite that bullet. But hold up. Okay. Dropping Case Serato, 4v2, but oh, Nico. Oh, my God. He could Backs win. turned. He's lost track of the ramp player. Still, he holds off. Oh, it's clean. He turns back to Case Serato, who just got himself into the coverage. We've got two back towards Ticket. Hunter getting closer. And these T's with jiggles around all these pieces of cover. There it is. Art takes the head off. Oh, man, they were sketched out. So right here, Furious start off with the window smoke. It gets countered by the Molly and Infro for the CT, so they don't overextend on the ramp. Oh, flash isn't good. Goes right by Monacy. 
Comes out getting for the frag. Poor drop gets sacrificed with no trade back. The mid smoke draws him back. Art speed up. Oh, he does. Nicely done, but still a player now beneath him. Yeah, favoring the CTs just slightly. A ramp control as well with the bomb in front of it. Nico will turn to the other side of connector. Duplicating his presence and finding another kill. Nicely done. Dominating connector. Nico and connector. We talk about his 10 year career. Well, that's been his bread and butter, but man advantage is JKS can just slink back into the cover of Underbalk. Teammate with him and Hooksy not far away. So the stairs player looking for contact won't find it. It's a drop into Sandwich. The picture being pieced together by the Aussie and the damage comes through. Such little amounts of health left on these T's. Hunter and Hooksy clean it up and that's G2's second CT round. Could make sense, but the cat peak. Yeah, that's just a sitting victim. That's a huge angle to take because they, so have, deep. Yeah, because they have DB control. Then oh. the mid play, well, that just instantly starts to slide back the favor of G2. Recovered from the 4v5 to the 4v2. And Art goes, see, this, guys, this is why we changed. <laughs> this is why we changed everything. But what can he recover with the AWP? He's going to get the back. Nope. Honestly. Oh! The vent. Oh, the vent. That's so unfortunate. He survives on one HP because of vent. Add it to the list of things to change on Source 2, I tell ya. Nico's gonna find him. Bomb thrown down now. That could have been a kill, but it isn't. It's four up for G2. An opening frag means nothing. As G2 reclaim every portion of the map. Op in apartments to catch the cat peak. The most minimal cat peak, but as we said, afforded by that deep apartment control. Yeah, we'd have to consider the fact that Monacy's shot looks easy because he's so deep. Ooh, Hooksy on top of the refrigerator. <laughs> Just catches Art completely unprepared. That boy cold. Give it a chance to fall back. Tagged up by Yuri. He will get away. <laughs> Couple glancing blows to the side. K Serato, meanwhile, wastes no time perching up on the railing. And Nico's going to catch safe further back. And you can just see that Nico's wary of the possibility of Cat being compromised, of Caserato being in ladder instead of where he is. But Caserato's patience works off perfectly. He just allows Nico to feel scrambled and gets the return frag back. Something to work with here as Caserato takes map control off this kill. Monacy's so preoccupied with that deep CT flank that JKS is forced forward on ramp. This has created a pocket of control for Furia to try to flex if they want to get back into the lead here on Mirage. But of course, JKS never shy to get up into the ramp. A master of forward A positioning on Mirage. Something that's happened for him a long time. Okay, Serato, not quite able to catch Monacy just yet, but the bomb and the T's are getting ever closer and so is G2's defense. We got four seconds on the clock, nothing left. They could sense they had an opening. Ooh, they could, could crawl, crawling forward, but then it's just a trap. You can actually They're trust that one coming in from CT spawn. It's been a popular angle here at the Major. That it has. Top of the cap bricks from Hunter. Ops here to help. Also up front, great. Flick backwards. Tethered perfectly, yet again from Hunter. Multi-kill made easy by the headshots. Sitting on top of the bricks. Now Drop does have bomb. There's a clutch possibility. Half health versus three. Hunter's oh, not missing. Man. Just headshots after headshots. Nico, off the flash. Perfect! Two kills, helps out Hooksy with the next one, and we just see this time and time again. The meat grinder that meets Furia on all fronts. They tried to get electric, they tried to crank that dial, but their dial near done turned to a near mute. All of a sudden, Furia very much facing You were convinced at home that G2 were going to playoffs, and now they have reconvinced you that you should forget about yesterday. Without a pistol round here for Furia, this could very quickly turn into a Dia de defeat. And with a flash on Caserato losing his teammate up into the apps, he better hope that Molly holds them back while the rotates come over. The problem for him is that already those rotates are being held by Hunter. He lets the first one go as Hooksy exits, then he activates, dropping, drop, and getting in towards market with another player unprepared. Hunter goes huge, oh and with Nico back behind him, it's four rounds to continuing their run in Paris. The double layer lurk there with the T-side entries on the hold while they're holding have on to been the least successful. Now or never. Now or never again. Last chance at a CSGO major. And JKS trades out Yuri. 
to start to peel off this a site defense more damage done to furio won't make this one easy and there's nobody actually within this bomb site to even offer any stoppage art falls back fades away like the hopes of furia and it works out perfectly a quick boost out of safe doing anything to try and make this happen anything to get a trade frag to get a hope to get the dream going again and drop will do that the double kill that could end up forcing G2 to trickle into the bomb site that still has somebody inside of it, and not just any somebody, one of Brazil's best. Tucked back quietly in the corner. Nico uh, still hasn't been able to find him, but he he's going to get the, the angle. Game. Yeah, he will get the angle. Let's see if he can get the adjustment. He does. The contact made. K Serato puts up the kill. Yuri then finds the next one. Mana sees all that's left, <laughs> and Art will find it. Furia, there's five. Okay. And Good. it's a long road back. Coming yeah, back, though, drop. Preparing for the fight. Two to the right side and nothing. It's Hunter with the instant kill. Safe can't expose himself to the apartments and he misses his shot. But Art will pick one up from the other side of the map. Modesty trades that back instantly. A smoke to go down inside apartments, but everybody who's trying to come help Safe is dying. And they know where he is, so Bomb can leave. A site is clear for the taking. And that is a golden opportunity for G2's 15th. They've got a man hunting down the opera, which means cleared out will be Furia, money will be in question, and so is their future. Eight attempts to close this series. Performances time and time again, it's all in question. No guarantees, but at least another chance as Yuri catches the 5v4. Deagle out of Serato goes down, the A site starting to crumble, safe predicted, and taking damage from Ticket. Oh, his spray is not quite on the mark, but his teammates are here already. Art posted on this angle. Dueling versus JKS. He looks to make the difference. And now, these last two T's in Hunter and Monacy with upticks in their performance. Scour the contact that Fury are here to offer Hunter with the trade back. And Monacy looking for that last frag, the last frag to keep G2 in this run. But there is no over celebration. There is Rage on that beat going crazy.